That's why I'm here. You're really the kid, ain't you? We are now effectively at war. If I want justice, I have to take the law into my own hands. There will be a lot of bloodshed. Then let there be bloodshed. We have a war to win. We made BMO has more feet. Uh, All this stuff. Get rid of the mug. Los Angeles. is KCAL News Mornings. Good morning. Today is Tuesday, October 24th. <laughs> I'm Marcy Gonzalez. I'm Rudy Bay Shabazi. Thanks for waking up with us here on KCAL News and streaming on CBS News Los Angeles. Here are the stories we're tracking this morning. While she was do being taken, she was hit by uh, sticks. Hostages freed from Gaza now speaking out. Hear their experience in Hamas at captivity as loved ones try to get more hostages back home. Plus, two people shot in Pasadena, one of them killed. We are live with the latest on the shooting as investigators search for the killer. And our driverless car is ready to hit the streets. Some people don't think so, and today critics are gearing up to protest. But first, it's a pretty cool morning out there. Let's take a look at your next weather with Marina. <laughs> I mean, I shouldn't be surprised because yeah. you've been telling us it's cooling off, but it's chilly. It is. It is about up to 10 degrees cooler than yesterday morning at this time. So we are going to be looking at that cool weather sticking around. We're going to get a little bit of a bump as we head into this afternoon. But overall, it feels like fall and I like it. Look at this Mount Wilson camera. You can see just in the last 30 minutes a little a little bit of that fog starting to roll in. And 66, but it is cooler. 59 in Fullerton right now, 53 in Pasadena and Simi Valley, 56 in Malibu, 60 at LAX, 54 in Laguna Beach. And we are going to be looking at the 70s rolling in this afternoon, but I'm tracking when the rain returns as well as some more 60s. That's all coming up. Kalina. All right, Marina, thank you. And we do have a look outside at Sky Cal this morning, flying over the 101, where we do have that signal alert that's been here for the past couple of hours. It's northbound 101 through Studio City. This is just past the Tahunga exit. You can see the flashing lights and as Chopper zooms in here, you'll see the activity and the lanes blocked off. We have a car that caught on fire. It looks like it flipped over and pushed up against the guardrail. So it's causing a really heavy backup through this stretch. At one point, all lanes were blocked off. Right now, we only have the two left lanes that are off limits, but still lots of traffic there. The rest of LA, some traffic starting to build on the 105, the 5, the 405. Here are travel times on the 110, 710, and 5 freeway where we're seeing some yellow building as well. And this is a look at the Sepulveda Pass on the 405 and our next traffic camera traffic there too. And we do have a motorcycle crash 91 West before the 71 left lane blocked off there. Marcy, back to you. All right, Kalina, thank you. P Pasadena police are investigating a shooting that left one person dead. KCAL News reporter Cara Finstrom is live in Pasadena with details. And Cara, we also know one other person was shot. What did detectives say about his condition? Yeah, some encouraging news from the watch commander just told me that that other man is expected to survive. This took place near the Robinson uh, Recreation Center just behind us here and the park. If we pan our camera around, you can see a large apartment complex. That is where investigators were focused for hours overnight. Take a look. Pasadena police got the first reports of gunfire here around 745. They say when officers arrived, they found two men wounded near Morton Avenue and West Hammond. Both were taken to the hospital. Again, sadly, one of the men has died. It is not clear how they were possibly related if they knew each other. So far, detectives have not released any suspect details, but we do expect to get updated information.